Hey Libra, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Libra. So if you're a Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Libra, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. dealing with the Pisces bottom of the deck we have hanged man here is it visible yeah okay those are too many of swords case of cups queen of cups okay these are too many eight of wands and strength all right knight of swords ace of cups queen of cups Eight of Wands and Strength. Look at that. We have the King and the Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Temperance. Mm. Four of Cups in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, Nine of Wands, Ooh, Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, and the Justice, that is your energy. Justice and Ace of Swords talks about truth, clarity, seeing things clearly, the scales being balanced. In this deck, the, in the Lightseer's deck, the Ace of Swords seems like having a lot of epiphanies, a lot of downloads, you know, seeing no, no more confusion. That's what I got. No more confusion. Seeing things clearly. Clear vision. And as I said, clear vision, we have the High Priestess here. Could be dealing with another Libra. Pisces, Cancer, Fixed Signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer. 
Scorpio, Leo. Yeah. Oh, Six of Cups. And the Knight of Wands. All right. Let me keep this here. Oops. All right. Yeah, eight of cups in reverse. Someone can't walk away. Someone can't forget. So this person right now, they feel a lot of emotions for you. They, they feel a lot of feelings for you. They have emotions. They have feelings and they miss you because we did see the six of cups, right? But, and also with the knight of swords and the eight of wands, it's almost like this person is very desperate to communicate to you. They, they want to really talk to you. Now, eight of wands and knight of swords can be that very, uh, you know, abrupt kind of communication. Someone just coming in and, you know, blurting out things without making much sense uh, i also got the energy of this person keeping an eye on you um i didn't see the page of swords though i mean we will see if it comes out or not but this person might be keeping an eye on you they're feeling a lot of emotions uh, for you they could be also meditating a lot i don't know i feel like this person's heart chakra is very active right now it, it's almost opening if this was the kind of person who was very blocked you know emotionally blocked emotionally it was difficult for this person to just open up and be vulnerable and be caring and bring out that feminine side of them it's almost like the feminine side of this person is activating right now you could be also intuitively very connected to each other you are feeling this person's emotions this person is feeling your emotions songs synchronicities uh you suddenly meet someone who looks like this person and this is not even one-sided i feel like it could be happening to both of you and this person is almost like they are they, if you are seeing dreams of this person you know particular sort of dreams particular kind of dreams that just reminds you of this person exactly then this person is actually trying to communicate to you with through those dreams here you both are very connected to each other intuitively you are very connected to each other let to see what is Yeah, they want to communicate. Look at that. I was just trying to clarify the Knight of Swords. That is Eight of Wands repeated twice here. Yeah, this person wants to communicate. And Eight of Wands is that very, uh, you know, spontaneous kind of communication. Someone who is desperate to communicate. Someone who wants to rush in and tell you something. It's almost like they have a lot to say and they're tired of holding back. They're tired of holding those words those emotions those feelings down they are tired of bottling it up and they just want to express strength oh well look at that i was just trying to clarify the strength and the lovers at the bottom of the deck the lovers and the two of course you also have the devil here though yeah, this person is very, um, now I'm getting a very sexual energy from that strength. I wasn't getting that sexual energy initially, and that is why I was trying to clarify. But this I'm getting, this is a very strong soulmate connection. The strength actually here isn't about this person holding back. The strength is about this person feeling this connection very, very strongly, very, very intensely. I mean, two of cups, the lovers and the devil. This person is very hooked to your energy. They miss you, especially if you are... Like, you know, if you um, were physically involved, you were sexually involved with each other, um, this person is just missing those intimate moments. They're missing touching you, holding you, you know, those moments, kissing you. So that energy is there. On top of that, this person is feeling emotional. So it's not just passion. It's also emotion. Um... The devil and the moon in reverse. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer. But 
yeah whatever illusion there was whatever fear there was this person wants to get rid of all of that if that fear that illusion was simply feeling the feels as i said this person was very emotionally blocked they just wouldn't open up it's very possible that their defensiveness was the de defensiveness was too much and that is why you had to take a step back you know i heard logging a dead horse hmm you might have felt like trying to make this person understand your emotions trying to make them you know like you could have chased this person you really could have chased this person and you realize that chasing this person trying to make them understand certain things just won't happen just won't work out because you felt this emotion uh the two of cups and the lovers that is mutual energy it's not like one-sided love so you were feeling the emotions you were the one who was feeling this overwhelming emotions for this person and it was very frustrating for you probably because this person wasn't feeling the same things it's also very possible you figured out as i said this is a very uh, telepathic intuitive kind of connection you both are very connected to each other with that king and queen of cups and they came out right uh, one above another right the way it's placed so you are feeling each other's emotions you were feeling the feels that this person was feeling you knew they had strong feelings for you you knew how strong this connection was but this person just wasn't ready to acknowledge it so yeah you could very well have been uh, the chaser and this person was the runner in this connection and we do have the lovers and the two of cups that does talk about a very strong soulmate twin flame kind of connection and this person is feeling the strength of this connection how strong it is how strong of a hold you have on them that is what this person is feeling because i i'm not getting a very bad energy from this devil um, card here the vibe of this devil doesn't feel extremely bad it just feels like someone who is very hooked to your energy and it's difficult for this person to process all of this and with the moon coming out in reverse it's almost like this person wanting to you know not indulge in that devil energy too much i just want to clarify that i should end it here i don't know the queen of pentacles Yeah, this person feels the is feeling the emotions pretty strong here. This is this is very strong emotion. Uh okay, for some of you I'm also getting that it's very possible that there I mean the devil does talk about some inner wounds, some um trauma, you know, childhood trauma, trauma from past relationships, some even could mean some baggage from past relationship this person was carrying and this person also could have some mother wounding and yeah they 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 could have felt a very strong connection with you because some way or the other or it's possible this person was running away from this connection because some way or the other this person felt like uh th their mother wound was being activated here because of you their mother wound was activated here for some of you this person could have been also married to someone else this could have been a third party here uh, a karmic soulmate a karmic some person this person was stuck with they were married to you know they were married to someone else this your person was married to someone else because we do have two queens here the queen of cups and the queen of pentacles so this person was married to someone else and yet at the same time they were feeling the strong bond the strong connection with you so this person already felt stuck in a marriage or stuck in a relationship stuck in a commitment with someone else but they at the same time they were feeling those emotions for you because that is two of cups and the lovers is very very strong emotion and clar that these two words clarifying is clarifying the strength there so that just talks about how strong this person feels this connection it's almost like it's undeniable for this person this could be a twin flame connection if you believe in that label 
because it seems the classic case of someone be already being stuck in a in a marriage or a commitment that wasn't healthy exactly because the devil and the queen of pentacles talk can talk about a marriage that wasn't healthy a partner that wasn't healthy for them and this person wasn't it's almost like this person wasn't able to see the truth the clarity they didn't understand that this was toxic until and unless they met you and they started feeling these emotions and they were feeling things and it's almost like this person couldn't believe that they could feel these things they could have such a strong desire such strong emotions for someone someone else when they are already in a commitment with someone else right they were already in a commitment they commitment and they were feeling the strong emotions and desires for you which was very confusing for this person and and that is why this person could have been running away from you it doesn't necessarily have to be like everyone was in a third party uh, situation here i have a huge libra audience uh, in my channel so yeah it doesn't mean that every one of you was in a third party but for some of you yes you could very well have been in a third party um situation and this person for the first time they were realizing what they could have what they can have the kind of connection the kind of love the kind of relationship they can have what they are exactly missing out on being stuck in a toxic marriage or a toxic relationship or a toxic commitment okay i also want to clarify that in reverse here yeah. Yeah, if this person was just scared outright because the moon can talk about uh, yeah, we have the four of swords here. This person is dreaming about you a lot. They're dreaming about you, they're thinking about you, daydreaming about you even. And yes, this very well could be sexual dreams as well. And the four of swords can talk about you both dreaming about each other. And remember how I said if you were seeing a lot of dreams about 1717, 17, which breaks down to 8 8, and I just note, and the strength has that infinity symbol here 8. Also, the ace of swords had that, has that same infinity symbol here. Is that even visible? Yeah, that infinity symbol 8 8, which talks about that never ending cycle. It's like you both are almost like stuck in this loop. You you cannot detach from each other. This person cannot detach from you even if they try. So yeah, um, if as I mentioned very beginning, if you have been seeing dreams of this person and those dreams, you feel like those dreams are almost messages from this person or if you even in your dream you are hearing some song or... Um, you know some particular messages you are getting through your dreams that is this person trying to communicate with you they are trying to talk to you um the page of pentacles the moon in reverse it's almost it's just this energy that this person as i said this person was scared right they were having the strong feelings for you when they were already in a commitment with someone else or this devil can talk about also a third energy so it's very possible this person was stuck in another toxic uh situation toxic you know, like they were stuck in a particular place, a particular job, uh, someone they were stuck to that was toxic. Doesn't even have to be a marriage, but someone toxic. And this person was scared of feeling those emotions for you, scared of feeling those feels for you. For some of you, it's also very possible this person thought that this was just lustful desires they were having for you. It's just that. It's nothing more than that. This is just a fling. This is going to go, go away. They are going to be able to move on. They are going to be able to forget you but that just didn't happen and now they want to come towards you now they want to talk to you now they are feeling those feels
this person feels like they can have that long term with you because we have the page of pentacles knight of pentacles king of cups ten of pentacles uh, knight of pentacles king of cups and ten of pentacles that talks about long term because ten of pentacles is always long term commitment right family stability so if this person again i'm coming back to the third party energy here if this person was stuck in a third party in another marriage another commitment another relationship where they weren't happy at all then with you they see that happiness the happiness they didn't feel there with you they see it with you they can see that family they, they can see that home that having dogs having that happily ever after and for some of you if this person didn't believe in that kind of commitment at all then this person is like suddenly they want that sort of a commitment you know ten of pentacles marriage because the ten of pentacles in the, uh, the traditional right away does talk about a family and here also the ten of pentacles is a happy family so yes if this person didn't think of those things at all then they suddenly are wishing and hoping for this ten of pentacles the happy marriage kind of energy they, they are in fact waiting. It's almost like this person is waiting for things to be balanced between the both of you. We did see the justice here, right? The justice is, as I said, the scales being balanced. Suddenly, this person has found clarity. They now know. They now the truth. They, sorry. They now see the truth. They now know the truth. They understand things clearly. They're having that epiphanies. They're having those downloads. This person could be literally just sitting there and daydreaming about having... Uh, stability with you having long term with you you're just sitting and daydreaming there they're waiting they're waiting for the scales to be balanced and this person is very aware that it will take time knight of pentacles is that very slow moving energy but it's a very loyal energy the page of pentacles and knight of pentacles is a very slow moving energy but it is loyal and for the long term the knight of pentacles puts in effort for long term not just a short term fun a short term instant gratification that's not what the knight of pentacles is about this person could be also trying to you know not trying to they are actually working hard on themselves they they want to put effort in themselves so that they can have that ten of pentacles they can have that long term if this was the kind of person who was who didn't think about long term who was all about just having fun and being closed off and just going around dating pe people or something like that then this person is is in very different energy of thinking about the long term here bringing out balance because this person feels like they are not balanced yet they're very aware that they are not balanced they're very aware that they need to work on themselves Yeah, see Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Knight of Pentacles and the star. Yeah, that is someone hoping, thinking and believing of the future, of the future of this Ten of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Aquarius and look at that. Bottom of the deck is Chariot, which is Cancer Energy. And on the Chariot, we have the Emperor sitting. So yeah, long term. This person is actually thinking of long term. And they're very determined. This person has a lot of determination, a lot of willpower to move forward. But yeah, it is going to be a slow movement. This person wants to build things slowly and they want to work on themselves as well. But that is going to be a slow movement because it's very possible, especially if this person was stuck in a toxic situation, a toxic connection, a toxic jobs, whatever it was, a toxic. Uh, it, it will take some time for this. I mean, it will take time to get out of that energy and start rebuilding again. The Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles is almost like this person wants to build from scratch they want to build themselves from scratch so that they can have that ten of pentacles with you and this person is ha it's almost like this person now has that tunnel vision because knight of pentacles repeating twice with that star is a very good energy that's hoping wishing and thinking a future with you is possible and then just walking towards that future with the chariot because the chariot uh, I'm getting the tunnel vision, you know, 2442 mirror number. All right. 
Four of Cups in reverse, Eight of Swords in reverse, Temperance. Again, Temperance talks about balance, right? Balancing themselves out. Wheel of Fortune. This person feels like you two have unfinished business. And they are very aware that you are very defensive towards them. You are you might not be open towards them at all. After what has happened between the both of you, you might not be open towards them at all. But this person isn't giving up hope. It's almost like this person has that faith and hope that the wheel, the wheel will turn. This ten of pentacles will be possible. Communication will be possible here with that eight of wands. The four of cups in reverse is just this person. They don't think this has been lost. They refuse to believe that this has become a missed opportunity. They know. It's almost like this person knows. Again, epiphanies, downloads, clarity. They know that. Also, um, yeah, justice does, does talk about a divorce, right? And as I said, this person could have been married to someone else. Hmm. So, yeah, this person could be going through a divorce or thinking of getting that divorce. They know they have to get that divorce. Anyways, four of cups in reverse. This person doesn't want to, doesn't want this connection to become a missed opportunity. Eight of swords in reverse is again a good energy because that talks about someone who is, whatever toxic energy they were stuck in, toxic situation they were stuck in, they want to unstuck themselves. They want to move forward. This person isn't just overthinking, you know, overthinking, being pessimistic, daydreaming, being bored. No, this person is actually taking actions. And though, again, it might seem very slow and everything, but they feel, this person feels unfinished business and they feel that things are going to be sorted out between the both of you. And even though you are defensive, you are behaving like a wounded warrior because you have been wounded by this person, uh, you still, in time, it's still going to work out. Again, the star, that hope, that faith. Yeah. In time, you are going to open up the Hermit in reverse. You could be dealing with a Virgo. In time, the silence will be broken between the both of you. Things are going to work out. I don't feel like pulling these cards here, but let's see. What are the like we had finality, right? So yeah, this person does, doesn't feel like this is over. This is truly over. This is done and dusted. Yeah. Forgiveness, return, sorry. Yeah, this is what I was saying, right? With that star card. Hoping, faith, manifesting. If I can find the star card here. Yeah. The star card. This is hoping, having faith believing that things are going to work out yeah the chemistry attraction passion this person does feel a lot of attraction and passion with you that was this is the energy i was feeling with the strength card there all right <clears throat> Ooh, look at that, the Empress. That is your energy. Taurus Libra. Mm. Yeah, it's almost like this person feels like with time, they will have your attention back. of swords ace of pentacles the star again that is the star repeated twice yeah five of swords reverse and that is that there is that page of swords i did mention right i'm getting that stalker kind of energy there's that page of swords um yeah two of swords they see you very defensive like they the um these are crows or ravens as I've said in my channel before, I don't really understand the difference between both. So I'm going to say crows. Um, I know there's a difference, but I really can't tell. So the crows talk, crows talk about communication. Birds are about communication. 
birds can also talk about awakening so this person feels like you right now don't want to look at them you don't want to see them you don't want to look at them you are very defensive your heart is very closed you feel like this person really messed with your head in a very bad way especially with the five of swords yes this person could have manipulated you and this person thinks and sees you as someone like if they try coming towards you and if they try to make amends you will feel like that is just manipulation again this person will just try to come back in and manipulate you again that's what that's just what you feel so you you're almost done like look how done he looks right he's so done with any sort of games or manipulation and he's frustrated and that is exactly how you feel or uh, think about them could be dealing with an Aquarius again I mean the star card did come out previously all right that is too many knight of cups seven of pentacles three of pentacles yeah Knight of Cups is that apology. And I mean, look, look at that. Forgiveness, return, sorry. He has this bunch of roses in his hand, right? And th these, are, these are roses as well. So yeah, forgiveness, return. Okay. This person also sees you as someone who's having a new beginning uh, like new beginning in career you are looking for a new beginning you are done with anyone who's trying to manipulate you unnecessary anyone who's trying to play games with you yeah you are trying to be wiser here that's how this person sees you you they might also see you as someone who has wisened up like you are not yeah you have wisened up and you are done with look at that five of swords repeated twice you are done with anyone playing games with you Anyone trying to manipulate you? Look at that. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is totally your energy uh, because you are an air sign. And Swords, uh, Queen or King of Swords can talk about air signs. Does talk about air signs. So yeah, you're done. I mean, we have the Five of Swords in between and the Hierophant on one side and the Queen of Swords uh, on the other side. You cannot be messed. You cannot be manipulated anymore. You have had enough of people trying to manipulate you or if this person trying to manipulate you. you this person sees you as someone who's very annoyed with them you're very done you're very annoyed with them Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, you are totally having new beginnings in your life and you are looking forward towards new beginning. You are thinking of long term here as well. Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles, right? We did see the Empress and now we uh, have the Emperor here. Emperor and the Empress. Yeah, you are thinking long term. You have strong boundaries and you want to keep maintaining those boundaries. Yeah, you are moving on. Again, the chariot. This is emperor energy. Um, yeah, emperor repeated twice. You are very fixated on main maintaining your boundaries. You are very determined right now. That you want to move forward and you want to have stability in your life. You want to have a new beginning in your life. Whether be it with this person or someone new. You will manifest someone new. Because where you are going... Because the star is again here, right? And that is hoping... So this person, you both are hoping, they are hoping that things can be fixed in the future between the both of you. You are hoping from, for a new beginning, whether be it with this person or someone else. You both are manifesting. You, they might also see you as someone who's going through major healing right now. And 
you know you you might uh, you might be right now very protected very um you have this almost protection divine protection around you because of which you like you cannot be approached easily you are very divinely protected the hangman you could also be going through an awakening um getting that clarity seeing things finally seeing things from a different perspective and seeing this connection from a different perspective as well you might feel right now that this connection was supposed to teach you something teach you your own value teach you to take care of yourself first put yourself first and self love and that is what you are uh, learning that was your lesson here and now you have understood that lesson integrated it and you are moving forward now again yeah king of cups again i was trying to clarify the knight of cups and we have the king of cups here yeah uh, knight of cups king of cups you already have the king of cups and i already mentioned this is this person's energy uh, you both are very connected with each other emotionally knight of cups simple that's an apology that's someone coming in with an apology and seven of pentacles three of pentacles that is someone who wants to work on long term that wants to work on stability that wants to three of pentacles is collaboration seven of pentacles is someone who is thinking long term what is my long term goals what is my long term happiness as i already said this person is working on themselves right and seven of pentacles is slowly building towards that ten of pentacles look at that this person is watching this uh sapling almost grow grow those roots and slowly get stronger and bigger right so this person is waiting they are investing they are waiting in they are waiting they are investing in themselves because they want that long term and they are very focused on the long term three of pentacles can also talk about someone who is working on themselves you know like uh, their job their um business whatever they do they are very, that is very important to them right now working on themselves is very important towards this person and they are here what do you call this a tapestry i think you, i don't know what you call this but they are slowly building this i'm going to call it a tapestry they are building this tap tapestry right she is knitting this person wants to collaborate with you they feel like together you both can manifest a beautiful future because the 10 of pentacles is a beautiful future because again in the traditional rider way we do have a home and dogs and house in the background and everything right so that requires a lot of putting in constant effort regular effort and that is what this person wants yeah look at that three of pentacles is clarified by the three of pentacles yeah they want to build this with you oh yeah they are going to pursue you with that king of wands and yeah you could have blocked this person out right and very focused on yourself look at that you block this person and you're moving on all right well that's your reading libra i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye